What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to another episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode we are continuing our action against the British by capturing and destroying this uh, small invasion army. You can't really see it. Oh, there it is. There you go. So not quite a reasonable army actually. But we're going to go and capture their ships. Bring their uh, first and second rates into our service. Actually we might bring them all in. We might bring them all in um, to boost our trade networks. But anyway, let's let's get to it and make sure we capture all the ships and prevent them from escaping. And then we can continue our action um, on the British Isles, such as looking for that other large British fleet. Uh, right, miss my loan. Heavy up front. And my other firsts with my admiral. Second, 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 second. Seconds, thirds in the rear. Straight at them. They've got a number of uh, smaller ships. Yeah, the Rosé, heavy frigate. But it's very much uh, Thunderer and Dorsetshire are the ones that we want. So we're going to steam straight in and get ready to just annihilate them. I mean, this game is beautiful. Hold on, let me have a screenshot of that. Grand Fleet. Excellent. Okay, back on full speed. So it looks like we are going to try and cut off their fleet. Their, uh, Thunderer will be more agile than us. Because they are a third rate and the head of our column is led by a heavy, uh, heavy first rate. But that will work against them in the end. Oh no, sorry, second rate. Because they are, they are going to get mobbed by our entire fleet in due course. It may do some damage to the head of the column, but eventually Thunderer will be trapped on one side of the column and Dorsetshire will be on the other. So we're being fired upon for the first time, but that's okay. Just keep on steaming ahead. I mean, I say steaming. Obviously we aren't actually steaming. We are going to make great, pro great progress. And I may actually break off the rear ships to try and go more like here. Just a second. Hmm. Thought I got something stuck in my throat. Anyway, let's keep going. So now Thunder is going to get into range of San Joaquin. Okay, they might actually try and go like this. I'll maintain a good angle on Thunderer. Actually, I may even start firing chain. Because a heavy first rate firing chain shot does a lot of damage, so that galleon we will do a lot, we'll be able to do a lot of uh, damage to their masts. Let's group them and just get them to go straight over now. That will get San Joaquin to heal over. Yeah, Mary Rose is going to get some shots into the into the uh, the bow of San Joaquin. Including getting some early shots in against the Dorsetshire. Full steam ahead, heavy first. So 
starting to get some shots in here. Let's make a few ships try to go this way. Thunder is just out of it. Start pumping around shot. Hold your broadside right. We're going to pump a broadside into Mary Rose. And effectively, you're going to focus on engaging Dorsetshire. There you go, dismastered the galleon. You may dismast the Mary Rose. first sailing on. Mary Rose was wavering, so hopefully, there we go, knocking off some more of her masts. Surrendered, perfect. Surrendered as well. Pivot ready to face Dorsetshire. Did a lot of damage being done to her. Let's see if I can get Conception ahead of this secondary. useful. You have to fire around shot because you're... Oh, there we go. Got a rear mast gone. No chain. There we go. Second race of the lines getting in pitches, into position. Too many targets. Lots of people shooting at you. One mast. I think Dorsetshire is going to be done soon. You're going to push on ahead towards Monarch. sail off at a bit more of an angle to present more guns towards Dorsetshire. you are still going after the masts. Good hits, but not actually taking her. orders to board Monarch. Knock out another mast, surely. There we 
Mika. She is out of here. There goes the main mast on Thunderer. Just start shooting it normally now. See if we can get a broadside shot in for that and then bring it especially now she's sailing into the cauldron you're gonna get a broadside into san san joaquin but it's not going to help you fire round shot Sintio. you have orders to advance. You guys just pump shots and thunderer. Lan Franco, I want you to come at full speed, try knock out that last mast. All these guys are there they're so smart. Big miss. Okay, try to get ahead. Give everybody else orders just to sail the right general direction. So you're getting some speed out of Thunder, eh? Wavering. <laughs> Snap the prow off of her. But still, there she is. She is still surrendered. So you can bring our ships in under tow. Yeah, actually we'll just take the main warships. So you men recover to your uh, to lose. These chaps recover to Louisburg, because the Dorsetshire. We're going to raise an admiral. And then you guys. What we're going to do is steal these second rates and ship them up here because this admiral is first rate ship of the line and he's very good. He's got a lot of experience. Well, the ship's got a lot of experience. Good. Uh, so the Brits are still attacking to the north. To replenish our army here. Alright. So I think you, were you were planning on sailing to India to try and bolster that force, but I think you're actually okay there. Instead, I think this unbloodied army is going to march over towards Yankton. Try and secure the last territory here before send looking at looking towards the south of Mexico. But for now, I think we're fine. So we're sieging London, and we're probably going to fight it. Actually, we've got three turns to a quick line. I might just keep. Although if I don't siege, if I don't assault it, their reinforcements will push up. But I don't need very long for these guys to be reconstituted. I think I might actually just. Be, it might just interfere here and try and assassinate one of their commanders, Roderick Colville. Okay, 
Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So let's move our fleet out, because they're not in Portsmouth. Not in Greenwich. Aha, there he is. Okay, let's move... Well, actually, first of all, let's move them just shy. I'm going to send both of these fleets here. Just to overwhelm the adversary. Global Trading Company. Oh, this fleet needs to be combined. Okay, let's... You're going to blockade the port and you're going to sit here to prevent the flow of other traffic while also supporting this fleet. And you, before the Battle of Tangier, are going to demand the surrender of the city. Excellent. So now they hate us. Have they got a university? Iron Masters Forge, Naval Hospital. Nope, they just, just don't like us. God bless them. So let's repair the government building. Get ready to deal with some... Uh, some dissent. Case elsewhere. So Sweden and the Ottomans are here. So you're pretty good. The Ivory Coast doesn't appear to be any useful things we can do. Straits of Madagascar, we could we could definitely do something with. Heavy first rate and fourth. Okay, you need replacement because you're depleted. But we're not there yet. Far East, there is a British fleet trading, but again, we need we need to get some more fleets re uh, reinforced and sent out. So when you're replenished, you'll, you'll replace another battle fleet on station. We'll probably end up growing you into a larger fleet. And start rotating some of these depleted fleets back. Wait, that's a thing? You can do that? You can send gentlemen to duel? That's... Gee, okay, right. So, 1,800 and something hours in this game, and I have never, ever, ever, ever done this or seen the AI do it. That's really fun. Um, unfortunately, he's better, better than me at both things, so I think I'm going to have to go with the least skillful option, I think, and go for the pistol. I mean, I know you can duel between gentlemen, I didn't know you could duel with a rake. And the trouble is you never know which is your guy. That's probably my guy. Okay. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. <laughs> we managed to answer. I lost the duel, but I didn't die. That's really cool. So I knew, yeah, I knew. Well, ultimately, it seems it seems like such a futile thing to do. Uh, ooh. I'm going to retreat my guys away because I don't want to lose my good ships. Don't worry, Ottomans. You're going to be in trouble. Well, the, uh, the, Ottoman, the uh, Dutch are rebelling, which is pretty neat. Marath is a bolstering their blockade. Which they are entitled to do. But we've got some good options here. We're making some good progress. You can't go anywhere unless you fight the Russians. Peace with Savoy. Yeah, why not? So let's... Oh yeah, the Russians are going to... We fought our battle against the Russian against the Ottomans and pushed them back.
The Russians can pass. Sweden again requests an alliance. I mean, well, no, they trade with they trade with the Austrians. I wish I could make them say I'll ally with you if you cut off trade with the Austrians, but they aren't. So, but I can't do that. Otherwise I would, but because they're trading with Austria, one of my greatest enemies. Oh, I mean, I'm not really sure if they are my greatest enemy, but I'm considering them as such. Okay, excellent. Trade raided, don't care about you quite so much. So here at Europe. Let's start our economic blockade of the ports that are usable for the Austrian Empire. Oh, that's Hanover. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, okay, actually, I want Dublin to recruit a militia unit. Some of our troops are replenished, but we're one more turn, and we've got a whole bunch of really experienced veteran units. So this guy challenged me to a duel in a very honourable fashion. Let's see if I can blow his brains out without him looking. Oh. Workers are on strike in Morocco. Yeah, that's to be expected. There's not a lot we can do about it in the short term. Yeah, religious unrest 10 is really bad. So the only thing we can do is knock down the Iron Master's Forge and try and rebuild a church school. But we do need the situation to stabilise before we can push out. So we've got some weavers' cottages built. Okay, first of all, big fleet. They get they don't get as much action in those theatres, true, but okay, let's get you out of East Africa. Let's build a steam dry dock. Get you guys out of port. And say right, we want a heavy first, a couple of firsts. Some seconds and some thirds. That's a pretty kick-ass fleet. It's in production there. So you're a garrison, for garrison force to the north. We've got a garrison or an invasion force to the south. Um, hmm. Ten grand. Let's sink it into some economy upgrades. At least not all of it, because we do need to get up to some shenanigans here in India. Okay, you're still just churning out troops. Although you are depleted, so you're going to just hold here. See what the Brits do. Well, here at Cutank. There's another British force. Yeah, that Cutac, we just need to keep on recruiting troops. Are they actually pushing Hyderabad? No matter. Our recruitment here is solid and ongoing. I think that's going to be it. Okay, let's sit in turn. Yeah, some, at some point Mexico will have to be dealt with. Another duel, eh? Oh god, he's got even better at shooting. Alright then, we're going to use a rapier. So, I mean, I'd like to assume he's the British guy because he's in red. My guy's got his... Oh. 
You devilish cat! Pretty conclusive there. Poor old Rake. Is anything going to happen? No, he's, he's not going to punch his way up through the grave. Uh, do I want to intercept? Hell yes. Come at me. This is going to be our bread and butter up in Agby Took for a while. I don't want to really commit the forces up there to destroy that uh, that British pocket. Instead, I'd rather use them as a drain on their resources. Let them spend money rebuilding and replenishing these armies every time, just so I can kill them again and again and again. I think the best the best thing to do is to make sure we consolidate our gains against Britain and Europe. India, it was a bit of a mistake to push into India quite so aggressively. But we're there, so we're going to take on a defensive posture. So let's position these off axis a little bit. Bring the cavalry in. Fire it well off. Split these guys up. Yeah, I thought I left cavalry unit behind. So native musket and auxiliary sit on top of the gate. Yep. Yeah. Just keep chiefly position people over the artillery pieces to maximise their firepower. But if you've got if you've got the, the uh, extra capacity, the gates are all definitely are also another area that you want to make sure you reinforce. It's usually always preferable to stop them getting on the walls rather than dealing them dealing with them when they're there. Artillery just gonna fire at will. Everybody's opening fire. Militia, bowmen, light infantry, Hessian line, Hessian line, Hessian line, Hessian line. That's right, you can try and try and try again. I'll switch my howitzers to carcass shot because they're getting to a point now where they've got. They're within range. Carcass shot's a lot more hit and miss than quick climb is. Get those cannons back out. Good hit on them there. They've broken the auxiliary. Then put a bomb. There we go. These guys are going to successfully scale the wall. Okay. 
good hit on the musket auxiliary. Okay, now these guys can fire at will because they should take up... Usually they might struggle to take up their positions, but once they've got something to shoot at or something is... They will soon have something to shoot at. They deal with it properly. There we go. So they've made it up on... Well, they're going to make it up onto the wall. You men are going to get shot to pieces trying to get to the... Uh, get to the position. Friendly fire there. Switch to round shot. Focus on that Hessian line unit. Keep on killing. There you go, the fifteenth is going to break. Now they are going to start swarming this section of the wall. So if we can make the 56th unit break. Okay, let's move some troops up. The balls to the defence. Brown coated militia, yellow coated regulars, not my militia, mercenaries. Can't pull you guys back yet. You men engage the Bowman Auxiliary. You men cease fire. Sure, my general's close to be nice and inspiring. Need to keep chasing them, my Bowman Auxiliary are out of here too. One Hessian line, two, three Hessian line units are advancing up. Three grappling. Irons. Have at them. So you don't want to shoot. The pe you don't want to shoot the people that are advancing. You will. They're too close, I think. They want to shoot over here. So the 81st. Pop some shots in against the 42nd. Two hundred thirteen, one hundred thirty. We've not lost that many men. They've lost more. Oh, they're sending up musket auxiliary. I did wonder why I saw a couple, a couple of native chaps wandering around. This guy manages to achieve. He's dodging, he's evading. Yep, he's, a, he's an absolute trooper. Gets a guy. God, here come the regulars have charged in again. I lost him. Yeah, another way you can do this is if. Not if you were desperate, but what you could do is. Well, actually, I might do it run my probe auxiliary out you could use you could try and charge in and attack them down here a hundred percent you could do that I kind of don't want to do it because they've got more more um, hidden troops than that right now I'm just happy to let them slowly feed men into this conveyor belt General's going to take a position at the bottom of the gate just to make sure these guys don't get in any, any bright ideas. So 
she meant fire well off, and fire well on again. Engage the 56. I want to get my skirmish cab down here just to start putting some shots in against them. Oh, look, see? So I ran my cavalry out, and look what's happened. The port's gone. Oh, you want your guys to get out? And they open the gates. You're like, no, I didn't want my guys to get out. That's why I specifically ran them out of this gate. here, pour fire onto these devils. Firing up into the, uh, into the troops now. And the next step is take the 88, run the 88 in here. Some of them did actually get in there. Just charge the Hessian line. Keep on, keep on attacking. These guys are just going to keep beating folks up. Just hit this tribal auxiliary. See if they can. Let's just start. Actually, no. Focus on the general's bodyguard. There goes the forty-fourth. He's still shoving people up. The irregulars are not in a great state. Standing their ground, but they're all split split up, so I don't know how long they're gonna stand. There goes the militia. To be honest though, it is easier to just run these guys away and let the let them think the only way they can get up the wall is by the only way they can get in is by charging the wall. And here they come. Mercenaries have manned the fire step, so they're going to shoot at the team. Good hits. Let's get my skirmish cavalry back inside. Okay, there's a lot of drumming going on, so let's make sure I'm facing everyone back out. I think you're all manning your little part of the fire step, so you all engage the 15th. Oh, it is Screw it. Okay, let's speed up time, because right now it's just... Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So, got to wait for these guys to, uh, to leave. No, my howitzers. Kill their general. They got the guy right next to him. Yeah, that's another British army that's been 
sent packing back into the wilderness. So that will that will uh, suck up some of their money to try and build that force back again. The general doesn't like being shot at. Counter that, he's going to run just within range. There we got him. Because he positioned his horses, since the one shot could wipe out a number of his cavalry. There we go. Now start engaging the tribe auxiliary. Once these guys are out, it is GG. Still got that weird ground morphing thing. Yeah, I thought we had more tribal auxiliary than that. Oh well. Either way, many, many British died failing to get into this fort. And you'll do so again. Decisive victory. Awesome. So let's see how the state of play looks like. We lost 250 men, lost 1,700. Some experience get experience gained by certain units <laughs> bye bye <laughs> so I expect we're probably gonna see lots of yeah lots of Russia lots of uh, Austrian troops pushing us out of their ports but I am planning on gaining sufficient naval superiority they can't really stop us we do need to block up the Baltic because otherwise they're gonna snipe some of our raiding ships. I suppose this is where India is a bit of a sideshow. Oh no! I'm going to auto that. I didn't know. They lost two of their ships. One of ours was captured. Retirada! Retirada! They can keep if they like, but they're causing. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, here comes a Marathon force. Are you actually going to land anywhere? No, you're not. So you're going to be a target. Or do we try and make peace with the Marathas? Give them... Give them uh, Katak. Let us try keep Ceylon and see if we can make peace with the Marathas because of it. Because I think right now I need to, I want to focus on Austria, on beginning my beginning my naval blockade and finishing off the uh, my my build up and bottling up of their Atlantic coast. That's what I want to focus on. And right now I think with India, India is too much of a challenge to take on as a sideshow. At least that's my opinion. You're going to move out. Yeah, the bricks are still here. That's okay. They're content to let us just siege the city away, which is fine. We had the Ottomans try and engage us here. So we're going to just deal with you. My concern is that we don't actually have... Well, what's our best force we can put to sea to engage that? We've got a lot of smaller ships, which it would be a bit of a slaughter. We've got some thirds there. Yeah, because I've sent that fleet away, we don't actually have a battle fleet able to engage them. Not on terms that I would like. So we may be best suited to let them land, because we can't... I'm not good enough to really... Um, I'd, I'd rather have more firepower to bring to bed to stop them. Let's take... One of these sloops down to Santa Ana de Coro. Dodge you up as a trade port. I think we're going to have to respond to where they land. They may well land here against Santo Domingo anyway. In which case, let's put you into port. Let's take these two third rates, put them in with Henry Cresswell. 
Then put Henry Cresswell in to lose so they don't get picked off. Duelist killed. Yeah, that was pretty funny. So you need to deal with them. Can't deal with the other land. Right, so Marathas. Request peace and I will give you Marissa. Fair enough. Um, in any in any sense, though, I think we want to pull out of Katak. Not ideal, but I don't think it's our best use of resources. Keep some troops near Ceylon. If you don't want to lose Ceylon, it's a very important foothold. And we're also going to fortify it. And then I'm going to give you orders to slowly make your way back to the Americas. But I think largely we need to give it up as a not super valuable sí, use señor. of our time. There's too much of a British presence. We, we need to grow our navy a lot to deal with all of these challenges. And I don't think we can do that. We need to gain some decisive advantage in some theatres rather than be spread all over the world. And this army can entirely go to Europe. Take advance. Steam pumped land drainage. Awesome. Then Yorktown's busy recruiting, so let's put this fleet flagship up to Louisburg. Alguna orden? So you've got a first rate. I can't recruit any heavy firsts yet. Is there a limit? Population too low. Right. What's the population like at Caracas? 65,000. I don't mean to build that. Not terrible. Yeah, I think we just let them land for now. And I think we really do just need to start churning out ships. So your population is 126,000. 116,000. I mean, you're down to 225 people. You just basically can't through a ship any bigger than that. And you've got the naval hospital down here. So let's let them carry rec carry on recruiting their second rate. So let's get you down to San Juan. Intercepted! Run away! I didn't realise they had my port covered. Very well. But still, we shall recruit. Inverness and lots of other good stuff's been done here. Two and a half thousand. Let's... Okay, right. What can we do want to do? Is to keep on sending these sloops into enemy ports just to prevent them from getting any use out of them. You've got a galleon and a fifth rate. Take all of these ships, these ships to be captured from the British can pull back. Capture some of these Austrian ships. I mean, we'll probably capture them and sell them into... <laughs> capture them and then uh, sell them so that we can fund our... fund the growth of our own navy. Yeah, we need a lot of bigger fleets, I think.
Okay, right. Speed straight towards our enemy. Nautilus and Felchin. <laughs> right. Well, we're, st we're steaming in. Ganyans are roughly equivalent to our fourth rate. Slightly a bit better than our fourth rate, it's certainly got a lot more people on there. But when it comes to fifth rates, we got loads. So we're gonna want to surround them. We'll just mob them. Mob them. Capture them. So I want got those two fleets in the med, but I want a fleet, a, a decent fleet in the north blocking off um, access to the Baltic Sea. Or blocking off access to the Atlantic from the Baltic Sea. That's what I want. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of ships, a lot of fleets sailing around the place. If we want to cut the Austrians off, though, that's what we got to do. They, they know that we're trying to cut them off, so they're going to do the same thing. Let's try and do this then. Push you, actually, I, to be honest, I dislike this whole... I'm growing to dislike this whole managing your fleets as one large clump. Focus on the galleon. Chain, you're gonna, you're gonna fire chain. There goes the rear mast. I send these three ships off to go and engage that fleet there. Off to engage the fifth. You might be better off trying to pivot. These ships, just keep turning. Keep this galleon into your in your sights. Load the broadside. Surrendered. Keep turning, you turn to you try to get over here. Beam in. You guys get ready to fire some chain shot just to try to slow him down. Try board everyone else, pursue Nautilus. I'm gonna continue. I'm getting close. 
closer and closer. Just, just tag her. She don't want to get away. She's not fast enough. So broadside in. Everyone else. Oh, this is part of the problem, is everyone else isn't at full sail. Or you are gaining. There'll be a fierce musket duel between the two ships. Ever so slightly faster. I'm going to leave it because at some point we will board. Well, I believe we will board. How far we have to get alongside. We might have to try and try and get a blast of chain to her. Got alongside her. Grab the bus away. Now she may well repel our boarding, but by by doing this, we've at least slowed her down. I say, well, no, she's routing actually, so she should immediately surrender. You can really see the the danger between assaulting boarding in this time because you can see how the tumble tumble home hull shape means that the actual space at the top is quite wide when the ships are next to each other but there we go a couple of ships that have been stripped away from the austrian empire and brought into our eh, we don't really need them let's cash them in Listos para la acción. cash them in and use it to fund repairs and production of more well, they're going to recruit fourth rate, which we don't really want. Galleon sloops, brigs, bomb catches, cannonade frigate. Can I not build? Can I not build rocket ships? I suppose I can't because I can't research rockets. I've done almost all of this. Two and a half thousand in the back pocket still recruiting sloops and that's good although i can use my militia to garrison waterford now so that frees up another sloop for raiding so even though yeah we can still do stuff let's just sit here and raid If I can block off the Baltic, or even better, sally into the Baltic, there's a few more ports back here that we can squash. Although, actually, that's what, I might just do that. Sail straight on in. The Brits have Copenhagen, which we will take at some point. Let's raid Gdansk. Then raid Memel. Excellent. So I want to really want to solidify my Atlant Atlantic position then break, break into the med and start to you know uh, start to block off some of these mediterranean ports including the port that links to their capital because that will choke off all of their trade but we have the titan of the royal navy ah oh, yes you guys that ran away get over here well to be honest as our force up techs the fleets like this will become increasingly broken down for trade purposes. Okay, off the coast of Brazil. You will engage the Maratha force. I mean, I might just auto that. We shouldn't. 
lose. No, I'm going to fight it. I don't want to. Don't want to lose any of my ships. Um, but yeah, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone.